So while I understand Stoll has a responsibility to keep the park neat and tidy, so that people will want to live there, and certainly that live there have a right to live in a nice, clean environment. This is an example where I don't think Stoll did its due diligence and hired what I consider a fly-by-night towing company that clearly, unequivocally didn't follow the law and took advantage of hard-working, poor people just trying to make ends meet. We talked to another lady. We talked to another lady who had $260 charge. That lady had two part-time jobs. She had to take an Uber, pay an Uber $40 to take her down to recover her vehicle. She lost a day's wages. The two part-time jobs together only paid her $80 a day. So it took her, what, three or four days wages just to get her car back. That is wrong. That is so wrong. That is wrong on every level. I don't know how people who take advantage of hardworking, poor people trying to make ends meet sleep at night. But they're sleeping in the county jail at night. Or maybe they're not sleeping. But occasionally, just occasionally, we arrest people and it warms our heart to see them go to jail. My heart is warmed that we lock these people up, that we're taking advantage of poor, hardworking folks just trying to get along in life. Here's the message. You better not do that because my detectives are not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. And we're going to be looking for the unethical people that are taking advantage of the hardworking, poor people just trying to get along in life. So, if you don't want your tow truck towed away on the back of another tow truck, if you don't want to go to the county jail, you better ensure that you comply with all the rules, all the county ordinances, and the state law. And oh, by the way, we have seized this white tow truck, and we plan to forfeit it. And once it's successfully forfeited, we'll put the appropriate Polk County Sheriff's Office markings on it and use it for our purposes at our fleet center. So we'll save the taxpayers money while teaching these folks a lesson.